so students now we are going to learn about a corn song second number the munda song we have already learnt a lot now is the turn of corn song and that you know we have already learnt that corn songs were generally sung at the birth of a child this we offer to you we can because we are still this we offer to you what does the word you here refer to actually the adivasis used to think used to believe that some spirits used to be present in the atmosphere these were the spirits of the dead and they used to give their offerings to these spirits okay so this we means whatever the offerings they are making this we offer to you we can only these offerings we can make to you because we are still alive we alive beings are making this offering to these dead people uh, spirits of these dead people if not how could we offer at all and what if this we cannot offer to you we have nothing nothing more to give you as an offering what else we can offer we give a small baby fowl take this you know students at the time sacrifice used to be there in the custom and a baby fowl in the form of sacrifice they used to give to these dead spirits and uh, take this and go away whichever way you came from where from wherever you have come just go away with this offering and let us live happily and peacefully go back return don't inflict pain on us don't torture us don't disturb us after your departure after your departure we will be living peacefully and safely without any harm or pain any miseries without any miseries or pain a note on the corn tribe so this song we have learned so let us discuss about this song the term corn is almost is most probably derived from the dravidian word konda right aryans dravids dravidians came to india right so meaning hill from hill side they came divided into several segments and distributed over the districts of andhra pradesh chatisgarh madhya pradesh maharashtra and odisha the same we learned in the in the case of mundas also these hill people speak the corn language they were known as hill people right they used to speak this language most of them are bilingual like the munda they are also bilingual and so conservant with the major language of the state to which they belong so they also used to have two languages the corn religion is a mixture of the traditional faith of the adivasis and hinduism they do not have any dowry system but they do fix a bride price that the groom pays to the bride either in cash or in kind you may call it a dowry unlike modern times at the time i have already told you that at the time females means girl child was given more and more priorities they thought that girl child was the basis of this whole universe that's why they were given whole priorities so whenever <coughs> a girl child was to get married she used to get means her parents used to get dowry money in cash or any valuable things or any kind but now the time has changed and we are giving uh, we are not giving much priority to girl children the time has entirely changed we can see so that's why genocide is there means uh, female fetishide is there female genocide is there we are killing girl babies girl children and girl fetuses also so they were not believing like this so we can say who was who is better they were of, of course they were better they had their ethics a note on the corn song after munda song note on the corn song the corns observe a number of rituals in connection with birth puberty means when getting adolescent 
then getting married and death was also there in the end with specific folk dances and songs for each occasion according to these songs were were sung dance were to perform they believe in the existence of gods and spirits both benevolent kind and male volent male volent means unkind means cruel means they were two according to them there were two kinds of spirits one was uh, very good spirits and one were bad spirit the song here is sung at the death of a person beseeching requesting the spirit of the dead to stop troubling the living right they used to soothe the spirit of the dead and they used to request make a request to that spirit to stop troubling them it is based on the cone belief that people love their home so much that their souls are reluctant to leave the hearth even after death hearth means uh, an earthen oven where, where fire, with the help of fire food is cooked baked right so they were so much attached them means it shows their bonding with their house with their family members so when the person was dying at the time of death he did not want to die and that's why his after death his spirits used to prevail in the air hovering over the house in the habitat they were of the opinion these spirits though general though generally kind can become harmful at times since they are now unable to participate in earthly life it is therefore customary to make generous offerings to the spirit we all learn the song begins by saying that the dead spirits will be able to receive offerings only if the others in the family continue to live and prosper they reveal their willingness to do anything to make their spirit happy but in return the spirit must also promise not to trouble them with its visits so in this way they are making request these corn people are making request to these spirits of dead of their dead that they should not disturb them any longer and uh, wherever they have come from means from heaven generally it is thought that they have come from heaven so they are requested to these spirits are requested to go back to the heaven from where they have come now we are going to study the third song and this is adi song students this we are going to learn oh my beloved one oh my lovable one if you lost your health due to ill luck have you noticed students the munda song was sung at the time of childbirth the corn song was sung at the time of death of their mighty people their ancestors right but now we are talking about adi song which was generally sung at the time of ill health means at the time when their lovables fell ill so they used to make a request to those spirits prevailing in the air to make this person healthy okay to make this person recover if you lost your health due to ill luck i come forward here to save you with this amul students amul is a metallic piece which is generally tied here or around the neck in this way and it was believed uh, they were of the opinion that these amulets used to keep them safe to call back your lost health in this way they were of the opinion that these amulets were strong enough to save them protect them from negative energy to call back your lost health and in this way they were of the opinion that their uh, ill people that their lovable ones they used to recover to call back your lost health listen to the sound of this sweet ornament and follow me to your sweet home so students and follow me to your sweet home i tie this ridden creeper to fasten your soul to your body follow the footprint of this cock come come with me to your home so in this way they they were requesting the spirits hovering around in the atmosphere so that their beloved their loved ones may recover okay a note on the adi tribe now we are 
going to learn from this song what they meant, what they really meant. Adi is a generic term denoting hill people, Adi, Adi means hill. So, hill people and uh, the corn were also hill, uh, were known as hill people, okay students, people and it includes a number of groups. It may be applied to all the hill tribes around the Brahmaputra valley, the river Brahmaputra valley. The Adi Ahava con concentrated in the east and west Siang district of Arunachal Pradesh. They believe that every object in the universe, be it human beings, animals, trees or birds have a spirit that needs to be nourished and propitiated. They are to be gifted and dependent on nature for many of their needs. They believe that equilibrium in nature must always be maintained even though hunting is considered not just a means of procuring food but also an expression of courage and skill. They still believe that human beings must hunt for survival and not for greed. Okay? The Adi have two major languages. As we already come to know that all these tribal people used to be bilinguist. They used to have, they used to enjoy, they used to possess two, two languages at a time. That's why they were known as bilinguist. So here also the Adi have two major languages that they use for two different purposes. The language for routine conversation is called Adi Agam. The second major language still in use is Miriagam, a highly rhythmic language used for chanting during their rituals. The headman of the village is generally the best hunter as well as an expert in Miriagam. <coughs> he was known as. Both languages are living languages and rituals and ceremonies provide the occasion of the teaching of Miriagam to the younger generation. Okay students, so in this way uh, you can see a note on the Adi song is there a brief description of Adi song. The song selected here is actually a mantra, you know, we have already learned about that Adi song. They were giving offering to the spirits, moving here and there, hovering here, here and there in the atmosphere. They were just requesting to make their ill people recover from the disease or maladies they had, okay. The song selected here is actually a mantra that is chanted in Miri Agam to lure the, to attract the spirit of good health back to the body of a sick person. The Adi believe that a person falls ill when the spirit of good health abandons the body, be means whenever the spirit of good health leaves the body or maybe you know antibodies are there in our modern so called modern medical sciences are there whenever the antibodies fall short of numbers then a person falls ill. But they used to think just on the contrary they used to think that uh, the spirit of good health whenever it left human body the man their loved ones fell ill abandoned the body due to some shock it may suffer. The above lines are chanted in a ritual performed by the met maternal uncle of the sick person means maternal uncle means mama ok students. So, in this way they used to believe. So, in this way students this chapter is over I hope you have got it well and uh, we will discuss a lot with some more topics in future, but uh, when it comes to this chapter, if you have come across any kind of doubt, if you have any doubts, just feel free, discuss with us, we are always ready to help you out. See you some of the time with different topics, stay healthy, stay blessed, stay blessed and stay home, till then have a nice time, thank you.